This is a Ciaviala S1 screen extender. So it'll grab your screen and like pull it apart to extend it. I'm just kidding, no, it doesn't do that. It gives you another monitor. Dude, look at this case. Bro, this thing is awesome. What the? Oh, boy. It came strapped. Okay. It, came, it came strapped up. <laughs> but where's the actual monitor then? Oh, okay. It says don't pinch yourself, but I'm gonna try it. How easy is it to pinch yourself? That does not hurt. In the box, you get the monitor with the stand and the back plate, which is pretty premium. An A to C, an HDMI to C, and a C to C. You also get this really, really nice case to carry it. All right, now that I've messed with it for just a little bit, I don't think one day is enough to really appreciate what it can and can't do. So for the next couple of days, I'm gonna be using this setup, just solely this, the extendable monitor and my Mac, that's it. Of course, my peripherals like mouse and keyboard but I will be sleeping, eating, breathing, bleeding, extended screen. I'll see you in a couple of days. While Siavala did send us this product, this is not a sponsored video and all our thoughts and findings are our own. Okay, so I spent the past week attached to my Mac and the screen extender and tried all forms of using it with my Mac, with the Asus G5, my PC, with the ROG Ally and a console. And as to not be tempted to use my other monitors, Juan and Isaac decided to take away my screens. It was not a hard decision. And they scrapped my entire desk. Damn scavengers. And honestly, I'm not really missing them that much. Good, because you're not getting them back. And the setup was kind of personal to the point where I didn't even really use my mouse and keyboard. It's kind of just all really close to me. Let's quickly go over the specs of the screen. So the display is 14 inches. The aspect ratio is 16 by 10. And the resolution is of 1920 by 1080 and has a max brightness of 300 nits. As for inputs, it has three Type-C ports that are labeled Type-C 1, 2, and HDMI. And on the top of the screen, it has a button slash scroll wheel that you can use to mess with all the settings of the screen. All this priced for $179.99 or $130 bucks if you have Amazon Prime. When using it for my laptop and gaming handhelds, I use the Type-C to C cable. And when using it for consoles and my PC, I use the HDMI 2C. And being completely honest, coming from two 30 inch plus screens plus the Mac screen, it's not that bad. It's actually quite nice. Like you for liking and subscribing and joining our Discord to chat with us. The screen quality is pretty good. And I realized that when it really comes down to it, I really don't need those two monitors, man. It's just more of a distraction. You have more screen, you have more stuff to put up there. With your laptop and with the extended screen, you're kind of limiting yourself to like the essentials, which I think is fantastic. It's definitely convenient when you're working and you decide to take a break, disconnect it from your computer, plug it into your handheld and boom, you're already hell diving. I think its main selling point is its convenience. Sure, it's another product that you have to carry, but that's why you got it, right? And technically it doesn't even need a case. It does come with one, a really nice one, but its backing is protecting its screen when you fold it. So technically you can just carry this around the same bag you carry your laptop around with. And it is slightly heavier than Juan's Pigeon Fuji. Keep in mind, one Fuji is two pounds and the screen is 2.3 pounds. Now, I sing its praises. So let me tell you what I found to be less than optimal or wrong with the screen. So when I plugged it into my laptop, I had a nice crisp image, but when I decided to plug my laptop in to charge, the image went away from my extended laptop and it wasn't coming back, even though nothing had changed. So I ended up disconnecting everything and connecting it back again and it worked perfectly fine. I tried to recreate the problem and do the same thing, but nothing happened. So I really think it was a one-off and just pure coincidence. Now on the back where the type C ports are, the input names are barely visible. Can you read it? Yeah. Where are they? Hmm? Right there. Oh, right here? No, up on top. There. Okay, never mind. I'm just blind. Yeah, you're just blind. Now onto a really big issue that I had with it. It's backstand. Everything feels nice and tight, but the stand, I mean, look at this hinge. It's amazing. It's solid. Everything here just doesn't feel like it's going to break this back stand though. You see how it just slid out? I'm going to try to recreate something that I did. Wow. Look at that. Okay. So I pushed my screen back and it tilted and it went and slammed on like that. Just that I had my computer on it. So it all flipped forward. To recreate it? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it again. Oh, it's too close to me. Oh, hey, look, I forgot to take this thing off. <laughs> so 
Yeah, very weak and fragile. I think that with enough force, you might end up breaking it. That being said, my final biggest problem with it, and I might be overreacting, but the speakers are not good at all. I can't use them, and I don't see why somebody would start using them because they're just monitor screens, and monitor screens aren't really, aren't really good. And then I was okay, 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 okay. So he's complaining a little too much about the speakers, but why would you want speakers on this, right? Here's the thing. This is a Raspberry Pi. It has no speakers. Sometimes I need to plug in a screen to it. Does the sound out of this matter when I'm trying to test something out? Not really, but it's nice that this has a speaker. I don't have to plug in another speaker. Case closed. Okay, Conan. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> So that's a really good insight as to why you would or wouldn't need speakers. So in that case, it's great that it does have speakers, but could they be better? For $179.99, I think they could. And another way to get around those speakers is just using headphones. I mean, you can't beat headphones with noise canceling and that's just, that's just the best for immersion. Come on. Or use the speakers on your laptop. Or use the speakers on your laptop. Exactly. They work perfectly fine. Yeah, they don't they sound do. bad. No, they don't. They don't sound great. Yeah. They don't sound bad though. Exactly. They don't sound bad, but they don't sound great. But they do sound. They sound better than, better than this. Exactly. Yeah. This. <laughs> better than this. I'll just give you a little uh, blast from the past. That's louder than this thing. Just let me tell you what. Okay, Where's the screen? <laughs> Where's the screen? I'm told that there was a fight between two toddlers and the damages were one Game Boy screen. So, like every product, it has its pros and its cons, what it's good at and what it's bad at, what it's great at and what it sucks at. And I really enjoy using it as part of my workstation, so much so that I don't really miss my monitors. And I think it's going to be a huge, if not permanent, part of my workstation. I guess Juan really can have my other monitors. I don't know why he needs two more if he already has the monstrosity of this Odyssey Arc, why do you need such a big thing? Um, compensation? <laughs> Just who is this marketed for? I think somebody with a laptop at a workstation would benefit greatly from this. I think that the screen real estate that it adds compared to the space it occupies in your backpack is phenomenal. On their page, they do market it as a 200% increase in workflow. And I think I'm inclined to believe it because you limit yourself to what's really important. So there are things that I would change about this product, mainly being the back stand, the audio, and I think they would benefit greatly by a new mounting system. Something where I can close my laptop, fold it all together. That way I don't have to take it off and on and put it back in my backpack separately. That way I could just have one chunky brick. I know I need it, so I don't mind that it's gonna take up that, that much space. But I think it would be better if they mount it from the bottom somehow. Like something that holds onto the bottom and comes up and twists towards you some other mounting system that way i can fold it let's say your computer is up top that way i can fold it back down and close my laptop that way i'd be left with a chunk about yay big for better usability right mm. you have your laptop screen right there this folds 180 all the way back here how are you going to close your laptop though these no these that's a problem Th these are an issue that's they won't let you close your computer so that's why I was saying on the bottom, somehow it goes up and towards you. How are you going to close your laptop? I don't know, you, Siobhala, you think about it. If you guys ever come out with another product like this, let me be the first to know because I really would buy it. So thanks again to Siobhala for sending us this product. I really, really enjoyed it. And thank you for watching till the end. I really appreciate you. I'm Brim and I'll see you next time. Thanks.